Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Hiba, and I am thrilled to be here on my clinical book, where I will be sharing my knowledge and passion for clinical topics. As a medical professional, I believe in the power of education and spreading awareness. Through my videos, I aim to provide concise and informative content on various clinical subjects that will be helpful for medical students, doctors, and other medical staff. So, whether you're a student eager to learn, or a healthcare professional in search of the latest updates, you've come to the right place. Join me on this journey as we dive into the fascinating world of medicine. And together, we can expand our understanding of clinical concepts. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my clinical book for regular updates. Let's get started. Today, in our clinical book, we'll be delving that how patients presents to clinical settings with hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are a frequent reason for patients to seek medical advice, and as healthcare providers, it's crucial to understand how patients present with this condition in order to provide optimal care. By recognizing the signs and symptoms, we can offer effective management strategies and alleviate their discomfort. So, in this clinical video book, we'll be exploring the typical clinical presentation of patients with hemorrhoids. Without further ado, let's dive into this important clinical topic and explore how patients present to clinics with hemorrhoids. So, grab a pen and paper, and let's begin. Patients often report one or more of the following. Rectal bleeding is the most common presenting complaint. The blood is usually bright red. Here we need to keep one thing in mind that the physician should inquire about the quantity, color, and timing of any rectal bleeding. Darker blood, or blood mixed with stool should raise suspicion of a more proximal cause of bleeding. For example, in Melena, the most common cause is peptic ulcer disease, in which painful ulcers or sores develop in the stomach, or in small intestine. During a clinical encounter, a patient may describe an acutely painful mass located at the rectum. This mass is typically external in nature, meaning it can be visualized on examination. The patient may complain of sharp and intense pain in the affected area, which can be exacerbated by activities such as sitting, walking, or even during bowel movements. Clinically, a thrombosed external hemorrhoid may appear as a bluish or purplish swollen lump near the anus. The patient may report a sudden onset of symptoms, accompanied by tenderness and discomfort. It is important to note that this condition can be quite distressing for the patient, as the pain can significantly affect their daily activities and quality of life. Now, when a patient presents with a thrombosed external hemorrhoid, they often complain of an acute anal pain. This pain typically reaches its peak intensity at around 48 to 72 hours after the thrombus forms. The pain can be quite severe, causing immense discomfort for the patient. However, it's important to note that this pain begins to decline by the fourth day as the thrombus starts to organize. This process is a natural part of the body's healing response. The pain gradually subsides, providing some relief to the patient. But, when a patient experiences sudden anal pain, and there is no evidence of a thrombosed hemorrhoid, it is important for healthcare providers to consider other possible causes. These may include conditions, such as an intersphincteric abscess, or an anal fissure. It is worth noting that approximately 20% of patients with hemorrhoids may also have anal fissures, alongside their hemorrhoidal symptoms. Therefore, it is vital to thoroughly evaluate the patient's clinical presentation, and conduct appropriate investigations to ensure an accurate diagnosis and effective management plan. Let's talk about something called a thrombosed hemorrhoid. Don't worry if you haven't heard of it before. It's basically when a blood clot forms inside a vein in your anus. This clot can block the flow of blood and cause a painful swelling in that area. Ouch! So, if you're experiencing some discomfort and swelling around your anus, it might be worth considering a thrombosed hemorrhoid as a possible cause. In our future discussions, we will delve deeper into the evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment options for hemorrhoids. 
Stay tuned for more valuable insights in our clinical journey. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to my clinical book for more informative content.